What's up, bachelors? Bachelorettes, welcome to the old Dirty Bachelors channel. This is the last segment on describing divorce. And this is my third divorce that I want to describe to you guys. Okay. The woman that I was, you know, divorcing, well, not, well, let me say it like this, that I fell into a deep love with, because I've been liking her for so long, you know. My sister used to hang with her, you know what I'm saying? So I'm saying like, sis, hook me up, hook me up, hook me up. You know, and my sister used to throw in words for me. And she's like, oh, no, nah, she's still married, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. I even tried to holler at her, you know, she shot me down. So when she finally gave me the chance to be with her, or to even, you know, get a chance to be with her. I was like, damn, man, I, that's my dream, girl. I'm going to try to make it work. You know, the other two girls, my first wife, my second wife, they wasn't worthy. This girl is worthy. I had so much, you know, faith in this girl. You know what I'm saying? really been had a crush on for so long so in other words I'm gonna just say it straight up I was a motherfucking simp for you know whatever she'll tell me I believe and whatever but sometimes when you go like that your dream girl can be your nightmare girl you know and When we started kicking it and everything, you know what I'm saying? She straight up told me, you know, she was still in love with her ex. But did that stop me? No. I kept going on and on and on. That should have been a warning sign to me, you know, to back away, you know, and tell her to holler at me when you get over your ex. But I didn't. Because I wanted her so bad, you know what I'm saying? I tried to play motherfucking Super Romeo, Super Casanova, or uh, whatever I could for her, you know, because I wanted to be with her so bad, you know. And sometimes it's not good to uh, disrespect yourself to be with a person that really don't want to be with you, you know. Or uh, thinking you can make them love you if you just show them this, I'll show them that. And I ain't gonna lie, we, we kicked it, you know what I'm saying, and everything. But it was still a thing, like, she was always trying to say, I'm not this, I'm not that, I drink, I do that. She don't like a drinker, she don't like this, she don't like that. So, uh, when... Me and the second girl got divorced. You know, I was like, you know, that's going to be my girl. I mean, I'm going to do everything to make this work. And it didn't work out like that. Matter of fact, it was more turmoil than with the other two girls put together because this person really didn't want to be with me. You know, I had to prove my point about everything. And, you know, and tell you the truth before we even got married it was some warning signs there and I didn't pay attention to it uh, we were dating 
I got a house. I said, hey, you can move in with me. She didn't want to move in. She didn't want to do it like that. And then she ended up, you know, going through some shit about her job. And then she even uh, moved out of state. And I was like, you moving out of state? You moving? I mean, you can stay over here. I'm going to help you out and tell you. Get on your feet. And she told me, no, uh, you know, I'm moving. And uh, maybe this will bring her bring us closer together or whatever and I said nah it won't it won't cause I done been through long distance relationships and shit like that you know what I'm saying and she was like yeah yeah you know and so she ended up moving away and just to show you how much of a fucking simp I was while she was out there where she moved out of state I was calling her whatever and sending her money the uh what they call that invisible girlfriend you know like i just got a girlfriend on the phone but i i can't go to the movies with her i can't lay down with her or whatever you live in a whole different life in another state but i'm still thinking it's gonna work that's how much i want to be with her you know what i'm saying and then it comes down to I was just on my computer one day and I was like, man, my girl is like special. You know, she ain't gonna never try to play me or whatever, whatever. And I just opened my computer one day. She left her Facebook open. And to tell you the truth, she wasn't even worried about me. She wasn't even caring about me. You know what I'm saying? She was caring about a nigga in a penitentiary, how he was doing and all that, you know. And then eventually it came down to when I found that out, she broke up with me, told me she didn't want to have nothing to do with me once she was down there and all that. But to fast forward the story, I ain't going to go deep into it like I didn't go into the other stories. Uh, She ended up moving back. We mashed it out. We ended up getting married. And that was a, something I said, man, we shouldn't get married right now. We should work through our issues. But we got married anyway. You know what I'm saying? That's just how much I want to be with her. That's just how much I care about her. And sometimes when you have a vision in your head about you know how you think about a person that person don't think about you the same way you know uh i erased the part about the penitentiary nigga and all that shit you know and still it was problems and you gotta read the signs fellas you gotta read the signs because sometimes if it ain't ready I mean, if a person don't care about you like that, you can't be blinded by love, you know? And that's what I was, blinded by love. Uh, I actually did stop drinking for a little while for this person and, you know, and all of this shit. And, but no matter what I did for her, it was never good enough it was like I had to live up to somebody else's expectations and I realized that I would never uh let a woman do that to me again if you can't accept me for who I am yes if you're trying to make me better I understand but don't try to make me into somebody else that you want me to be because no matter what I did for her it wasn't good enough uh she would constantly leave for weeks at a time, months at a time, and then I always take her back and all that. And that's why I got to say, like, my third marriage, it was my worst because I put up with more shit. Like, the other two marriages, I didn't put up with no shit. I was like, fuck you. Get the fuck home. But I had such... A soft 
heart for this person, love this person so much till I let them get away with murder until, you know, something happened. I ain't gonna get into that. That proved me wrong that this person was never who I thought they was. And then after that, you know, I felt like, fuck it. I'ma just do what I gotta do. And that's the way it is. That was my third marriage. Uh, my first two marriages, I was like a motherfucking pimp, he-man. My third marriage, I was like a fucking soft fucking simp pillow. And she ran all over me. And I guess that that's what happened, you know, when you play it like that. And I still haven't got anything from that person if, you know, what I was thinking was true or, you know, was I was just thinking out of my head. I, I got no answers. That person just said, oh. I'm backing out, so I have to believe what I believe, and that was my third marriage, and we're not actually divorced yet, but I know we will be, and when we do, shit, I'm never getting married again, never, 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 never. <laughs> That's just the way it is, and that's just describing divorce, because I know that with my third marriage, I wasn't perfect. Nobody's perfect. I could say I was more perfect than my first two marriages. It's my first two marriages. I ain't give a, really give a fuck, but like the third marriage, I really did. Even though, you know, I did some shit. I ain't gonna say I was totally innocent like I was an angel, you know, but that's the way it is. And that describes my three marriages. And on my way to be a bachelor. That's why I call it. That's why I call my channel the Old Dirty Bachelor's Channel. Because it's like, I done went through the dirt, the rain, the small, every day to try to make marriages work. And a little bit it comes from Old Dirty Bastard, which is one of my favorite rap artists. But old dirty bachelors come like, nigga, you'd have been married three times, done been through the ringer. So, you just an old dirty bachelor. <laughs> that's what it is. And uh, that describes my three divorces. Peace three times.